Good evening, everyone. This is Michael W. Ford. Thank you for watching the video and this channel, uh, which I've uh, continued to create videos on for many years. Uh, obviously, uh, getting better at doing them as time goes on. Um, the work that I'm going to speak about tonight is my newly unveiled grimoire, Hecate and the Black Arts, or Akade and the Black Arts. Out of all of my grimoires, uh, based on research, uh, utilizing mythology, studying etymology, uh, all of the historical aspects and applying it into a modern, uh, from a Luciferian perspective, practice of balance in a left-hand path, um, modernized way. This grimoire um, crowns the works that I've uh, alluded to uh, honoring uh, Hecate in my previous works. The Luciferian witchcraft tradition, as it started in the late 90s with the Witch's Sabbath, uh, Coven Malefica and specific workings, the Karasith Lunar Lodge going into um, in Houston, the early uh, Luciferian witchcraft workings were dedicated to uh, Hecate, as well as Samael and Lilith, but within a, a major context, uh, Hecate. And the results and the experiences of it I've had over the years, as well as other coven members from those early days, were very impactful uh, and uh, transforming. This grimoire, Hecate and the Black Arts, is not a grimoire just outlining who Hecate is or Hecate, but rather uh, because many authors, uh, previous uh, Jack Grail, Sora Diesti, uh, etc., uh, Asneth Mason, uh, another uh, Luciferian sister, have presented grimoires and works on um, Hecate, and um, this specific work was based on my workings on many levels uh, in a kind of cycle, one-off uh, work for a while, and then uh, move to something else and then come back to a type of uh, ritualistic and initiatory practice over many years. And the aim of this grimoire is based in uh, understanding what uh, not only the ancient origins of Hecate, but how this deific mask has many different, based on the epithet, the cult epithet, which is a divine uh, name, um, which often relates to the specific type of energy or power or occurrence or authority uh, that deity or demon possesses. And I'm going to read a few little sections here uh, to kind of give you a preview. Um, Hecate is an illustrious goddess whose name means worker from afar, derived from the Greek word Hecatos. The masculine form of the name Hecatos was known as a common epithet of the god Apollyon, Apollo. Hecate has numerous transcendental manifestations as a deity having many incarnations and roles. Each epithet or name in which Hecate is called represents a specific type of power or energy within nature. The underworld, also the anti-cosmic abyss, and the black magician is potentially a vessel to ensorcel or encircle her energy with our own. One's own daemon is the mediator between the divine, infernal, and earthly spirits and powers. Hecate has been identified with many other deific masks or deities such as Artemis, Selene, the moon, the sea goddess Craterus, 
the goddess of the Taurian, Kersenes, and Scythia, the mighty Scythians, uh, Colchian, Nymph, Parasis, the thrashing goddess Bendis, and Cotis. Um, Hecate is also known in the Testament of Solomon as Inipsikos, a demonic goddess who forms and names equally are many. This grimoire presents myth, and it's done in a ritualistic, uh, specifically composed structure. My careful use of, of forming uh, narratives, stories, myths as something to connect to the subconscious, something to initiate in the subconscious by uh, dreams, by waking life, the process of those deific masks of the ancient Hellenistic and Greek worlds, beginning with Hecate, from her uh, epithet as Hecate Phosphorus or Lucifer, the, the carer of the torch, the bringer, the goddess who uh, shines light, um, to uh, Hakade of the underworld or of the night from her sorcery and witchcraft and trains of ghosts and demonic spirits. All of these experiences are available to the person who uses this text in a way that it describes and has many layers of uh, total encircling of one's imagination, which activates towards meaning in the subconscious and that energy and using your will, your force by the triad of the morning star to encircle and direct that energy in your apotheosis. The specific focus of invocations and what the night side is uh, relates to Akade's origins and gradual syncretic cults uh, obscurely point to her origin in the Greek world as being from the Thessalian region, famous for its demonic witches. And like Dionysus, an ancient worship from possibly the Thracian and Colchis. The very meaning of Akade, far off one, far darting one, supports her origins as from savage and wild lands. And all of the different aspects of, of Hecate are presented in here. Now, something very, uh, that I'm very proud of are the uh, artists that are featured in this grimoire. And um, it's always, you know, my ritual works, my grimoire is made complete by these fantastic um, occultists, these black magicians or Luciferians who use their desire to incarnate that by image. Uh, which all images can be used as a type of sigil or a gateway. We have Mitchell Multi. Now, Mitchell's done many covers of my previous works, Fallen Angels, Drauga, Necrominion. He's an amazing uh, illustrator and artist f from all different types of um, illustration and art. Um, his work was going to be on the cover of this, however, uh, there was a cover due to uh, Facebook uh, irritations or uh, some channels that they go through. If there's any type of nudity on book covers, uh, we have a lot of problems from uh, succubus, um, feedback from distributors and so forth. So we went um, with this fantastic um, cover. Um, by Daniel Cor Cuera, and it was um, also Mitchell Maltese in, uh, has a great piece in this. Uh, Asneth Mason, who I'm very excited to be working with, a fellow Luciferian sister, uh, contributed three uh, specific uh, uh, Lamia 
and Puse, um, Mormo Lachia, um, those vampiric shades or de demonic powers under Hecate. Um, Chris Underheimer, uh, who is a great artist of different types of um, styles, also a uh, Thursian ritualistic musician who I've collaborated with. Uh, a fantastic artist introduces Leonardo Avila, um, who uh, did some of the uh, really key pieces that can be used by the Luciferian or the uh, Black Magician in uh, creating a uh, visual focus for um, Hecate. Uh, Ramses Melendez, uh, who I've worked with a short horror film, did a soundtrack for, uh, and yeah, there's just so much within this grimoire um, really crowning uh, Hecate and uh, her, her torches as a gateway and different aspects of this power. Now, other grimoires that, when I talk about connecting or um, layers of meaning, you read, you read a, a part of the book, you understand what it's saying on the, the surface level, and then you start to, when going back again, discover other keys, other layers of meaning in those same sections. And as you practice magic, actually practice it, not just put this on your shelf and ignore it, or say you have it, but if you apply it, if uh, Hecate is uh, an intuitive attraction for you, then layers of initiatory knowledge, insight, power will come forth by dream, by waking, by experience from an internal sense and a gradual self-transformation to then your external sense. These are key aspects in Luciferianism. Now, I also have Fallen Angels, which also has in the last um, chapter concerning um, black witchcraft or Luciferian witchcraft in a very basic uh, sense and also into uh, the serial aspects of the Watchers. Hecate is uh, honored in this grimoire too. Um, for those who are uh, interested in dream or energy vampirism, there's a Karu which has a very uh, anti-cosmic and, and um, abyssic uh, mask of Hecate. And um, the Demons of Solomon. Now, this connects also with Hecate, as I previously mentioned. And it has um, the lunar aspects, and here's a sigil, um, which I've used and worked and consecrated uh, several years ago, and a Luciferian perspective on drawing down the moon and understanding types of energy and power and directing them in magic. So Nepsijos, uh, in the Testament of Solomon, uh, is a spirit who is called by countless names, um, who has uh, two to three uh, specific faces, depending on how you approach that. She's conjured uh, or called up by, as uh, the deific mask, Cronus. She has three forms. Uh, she cannot be restrained. All of these in working with these uh, aspects of the demonium have all unveiled and open gates towards other aspects. Now, something else in Hecate and the Black Arts is 
initiation through the underworld and then working with specific deific masks, Hades, Persephone, uh, Carrie is a very demonic and potentially dangerous energies that can be called up and controlled and used to forge uh, your uh, liberation, illumination, and apotheosis. Anyway, Hecate and the Black Arts is available through Succubus Productions, Lucifer and Apotheca, and uh, a special deluxe leather edition and deluxe cloth edition will be available from Manus Sinistra uh, within a few weeks of this being put out. Thank you for watching, and I look forward uh, to your comments, and I will have more videos soon. Banama Araman.